Today I'm going to talk about the Chalier 10mm ceiling cutting handpiece. The handpiece uh, functions are as follows. The jaws are tightened and clamped around the tissue by depressing the handle like this. You can see the jaws have now closed. To release the jaws, with your thumb, if you press the button here, they release like that. And to advance the cutting blade, you pull the trigger like that. So, in, in surgery, you will be clamping your tissue and cutting like that. We'll now cover taking the instrument apart for cleaning, sterilisation and changing the blade. To take the instrument apart, you undo this cap, take the cap off and put to one side. This will allow you to remove the insert like that. On the back of the inner tubing, is a screw which you need to undo. Again, put that to one side. Undo the sleeve, the outer sleeve, by unscrewing. And that can be put to one side. Then you'll find there are some inner tubings with a spring. Next we need to undo this sleeve here. This is a bit more fiddly. Undo this sleeve like this. Once it's undone, you will need to push the spring down and you will see a groove that holds the blade. The blade is now released and the inner tubing can be removed like this. We want to remove the blade for changing so we need a pair of artery forceps or something similar to remove it. And by grabbing the tip of the blade, the blade can be removed like that. For sterilisation, you now have separate parts which can be put through your autoclave. Put the screw back onto this sleeve before autoclaving. So there are all the parts separate for autoclaving. Now we will cover the reassembly of the instrument. First thing to do is to put the blade into the jaws of the insert. like this. Okay, then we need to do everything in reverse order. Undo the screw. And we will put this sleeve over the inner sleeve, we need to depress onto the spring to find the groove to engage the blade into that groove. Then release that sleeve so that that sleeve can then be tightened 
onto the jaw section. Now we put the outer sleeve back on, tighten this up, and the last thing to do with the insert is to put the screw back on. Now we can reassemble the device. And screw the cap back on. Just check everything is working correctly. Yes, everything is fine and you are ready for surgery.